Hi folks, it's been a while, but we're back for some more Mario Kart Wii CTGP tracks. Just as a nice little, uh, bonus videos to tide you over till the next Let's Play. And I'm hoping to finish the CTGP, uh, Grand Prix circuits here. And I've looked at my old videos, and it looks like there's only a small handful of characters slash vehicles that I haven't used. The only characters I haven't used are the small me and the large me. The only vehicles that I have not used are the standard cart medium, the standard bike large, and then the phantom. I technically used the phantom for like a tiny bit just to test if one of the tracks was doable for the phantom, but didn't do anything beyond that. Anyhow, because we haven't played as a large me yet, we are going to today, today play as Darth Vader. <laughs> Alright, so we can be on the standard bike L, which has decent stats, or the Phantom, which has very poor drift. Uh, I feel like Darth Vader might be more of a Phantom character. <laughs> it just I, I can see Darth Vader riding a crazy motorcycle like that. Oh, also, so I have finally figured out the difference between manual and automatic. So manual drift is the main way that I play the game. If you change it to automatic... Uh, you cannot drift, and you also cannot hop or get mini turbos, but every vehicle will just have a default higher handling stat, meaning your generic turns will be better, but you can't hop, and you can't drift, and you can't mini turbo. So, because of that, I'm going manual, like, all the way. Alright, it looks like we've got 18 cups left. <laughs> so maybe we won't be able to finish it this time, but today we are on the, uh, Potaboo Cup. And we've got N64 Rainbow Road, Luigi's Island, Super NES Bowser Castle Free, and Lava Road. And for those who are wondering, I have not updated CTGP since I first started doing these videos, so I'm quite sure a lot of updates have happened and the track layout will be different, but whatever. We're still continuing this way. I feel like if I were to update it now, we might it might change some of the tracks around so we would play tracks we've already played before in these newer cups. So anyways... With that all said, let's get started. So we're starting off with a set. Wow, N64 Rainbow Road. Okay, so this is the Mario Kart 8 version of N64 Rainbow Road. Or actually, maybe not. Maybe it's a little bit. It definitely looks like that way more than the original N64 Rainbow Road, though. So, all right, we'll see if it's uh, one lap or two. I hope it's two laps, because one lap on the... Yes, it's two laps, good. Wonderful. All right, now I've got to get used to the... <laughs> Mario Kart Wii controls, because I am very much used to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Oh, hey! Yay! They brought back the original chip. Oh, I forgot how bad of a drift the Phantom has. Oh, this is bad. Darth Vader's a little less than intimidating today. Uh-oh. Yikes! There's a reason I haven't been on the Phantom yet. <laughs> oh, you jerk butt! The Phantom is widely considered one of the worst bikes in the game. Ooh, there are blocks over there that can probably be used for a shortcut. But I feel like in this vehicle, I would just fall off if I tried to take it. So it's probably actually faster for me to not attempt that shortcut. So how is Baby Peach, like going faster than I am. If people are wondering what the Phantom's main strength is, it's a very heavy bike. Its weight stat is quite high for a bike. Okay, really? I know I'm Darth Vader, but come on now. So they kept the boost panels at the end. I'm not a huge fan of the boost panels at the end in... Oh, no. You jerk butt Diddy Kong. You purposefully weaved to the power-up that I was going towards. Oh, my gosh. The Phantom can't drift around these turns. Why does it have such a wide drift? Like, you always bump the wall. Unless you're, like, right up at the edge. Oh, yes, Gold Mushroom. That's what we need. Come on, give me another power-up in time. Yes! Just in time. Yeah, this is great. I actually might attempt the shortcut if I can remember exactly. Okay, it's right here. Oh-ho! 
No! What? I thought I avoided that! I'm glad they brought back the original Chain Chomps, but they're still too big. The original Chain Chomp sizes were perfect. Oh, come on! Power-up didn't uh, reappear. How am I in eight? I guess I fell off, but I took the shortcut and I had a gold mushroom. I feel like I should be in at least six. Come on, I need something good. Alright, that's something pretty decent. I still hope that they bring back the Mega Mushroom someday and just make it last a little longer. One red shell is my final power-up. Oh, people fell off. Oh, I'm gonna get third! Okay, I will take third place after that race. I raced terribly on that one. Still getting used to the Mario Kart Wii physics again, and, uh, well, I'm on the Phantom, which is not a very good vehicle. All right, I will happily take third place. That is okay by me. All right. I like that more than the Mario Kart 8 version of N64 Rainbow Road, but I wish the Chain Chomps were a little smaller. Like, make the Chain Chomps the way they were in the N64 version. Luigi's Island, this is an original track. Okay, we got a nice looking beach. Like a seaside harbor town. Got a cool waterfall. All right, I like the look of this course. It looks like it's a nice wide track too, which definitely plays to the Phantom's strengths. Main Whale or Raver doesn't play to its weaknesses. Oh, I might, I might regret saying that. Oh shoot, that's right. The boost uh, timing is different on this compared to Mario Party. Oh, bullet bill already. Oh, well, all right, go no. Wow, I don't think I deserve to get that that early, but all right. Oh my gosh, the Goombas are wearing Luigi hats. That's pretty awesome. Oh-ho! Oh, it's just playing the generic Luigi circuit music. I thought for sure this was going to play like Peach Beach or Shy Guy Beach. Oh shoot, that was a mistake, that was a mistake! Okay, don't trick at the top of that hill. Oh, it worked out though, because judging by that sound effect, that means I avoided a blue shell because I fell off. Granted, falling off is a bigger time waste than getting hit by a blue shell, but I think this means somebody else got hit by the blue shell. Oh, yikes. Alright. This course isn't phenomenal, but it's not bad. Just a very basic course. Oh, I wonder if there's a shortcut through the uh, house. Oh, yikes. That's not even a Mario Kart 8 green shell there. That's literally just bad, bad timing on my part. You know what? The course might be simple, but I'm okay with that. I like simple courses. I would take a simple course that's fun over a complicated course that sucks donkey butt. That's at least where I'm at. Okay. I'm gonna drift before we reach the top. I wish there was a sign that let you know, hey, you gotta turn at this part, so make sure you don't trick. Oh! That's huge! If you're mega, when the lightning goes off, you just go back to normal size, and everyone else has to stay shrunk. That's very welcome indeed. Okay, I think you can cut under the arches if you've got a couple mushrooms. Alright, I like this track. I like the way the track winds and turns. This is the only part I don't like. Because you can't see the turn in advance, it's a little unfair. But there we go! Lord Vader gets first place. Wee, Darth Vader. Oh yes, I'm tied for first now. That's great. Okay, so that was Luigi Islands. Now we're going to Super NES Bowser Castle 3, which was one of the last tracks released for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And I adore this track in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It got a huge glow up. This one definitely looks way different. Still extremely flat like the SNES version, but it's got blue fire and blue lava. Or maybe that's water. I'm still, I'm interested. This is gonna be, feel really different, but it might still be great. Oh yeah. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna blow up. 
Oh no, I got the best boost. Yes. GTA Bowser Castle music. Uh oh. Okay. Some of these turns might be a little hard to make if you're on the Phantom. Oh. Alright. First lap's gonna be figuring out where I can and cannot trick and where I need to drift early. Ah, oh, good job, Red Shell. Well, that must have been an interesting experience for Yoshi. <laughs> Just get pile drive T boned by uh, Darth Vader in Mario Kart. I was not expecting you to slam into the ground that quickly. Alright, definitely not as cool as the Mario Kart 8 version, but still pretty awesome. Oh, shoot. Didn't exit my wheelie in time. Oh, man. Womps are on a rampage. Okay, I've got to be... Oh, shoot. Blue fireball. Well, yeah, I'm saying this, but this actually might be a cart track right here. With all the giant turns. Nah, probably not. <laughs> All the hardcore people, if they happen to watch this video, are going to be like, Nope! Inside Drift Bikes always win. Which, yeah, they're they're crazy good. How are these... Okay, did they turn up the frequency of the flops and how often they slam the ground? Or am I just really bad? <laughs> I don't remember the flops in Bowser Castle 3 or uh, N64 Bowser Castle to uh, slam the ground this frequently. I remember them staying in the air for like two full seconds before they slammed. I hit my own fake power-up that I left in lap one. How did nobody else hit that? I like the, the blue th theme of this version. It looks really nice. Alright. Wowzer. Alright, as long as I don't get hit by a flop at the end, I think I have this. Bowser! Darn it, Bowser. I guess it is his castle, but that was very rude of him to just knock me off the road. Bowser wasn't even one of the main threats, so I'm still now in full first place. I guess Bowser's just like, my castle, my rules! <laughs> Alright, you know what? I respect it, Bowser. I, I really do. Lava Road! This is another original map. This one, oh! This looks kind of baller, actually. You've got, like, the Bowser Castle exterior, but then the, the actual racetrack reminds me of the platforms inside the volcano in Lethal Lava Land from Mario 64. Probably intentional, but... Oh, this looks pretty sweet. Oh, no. Not more thwomps. Oh, yes. We Bowser Castle. Oh, okay. Those are bouncy mushroom platforms, apparently. Alright, I don't like that at all, because they blend in really well with the ground, and it doesn't make sense. Strike one. What is with these CTGP creators' obsession with the bouncy platform? Maybe that's why I like Luigi Island. It didn't have any of that nonsense. Like, that doesn't even look like mushroom stuff. That literally just looks like a gate. It's the same stuff that's made from the, like, lava geyser. So why does this make us bounce? Okay. Not a fan. And that's a shame, because if you remove that, I feel like this would be a pretty solid course. Oh, I like the red lightning, though. That's cool. Darth Vader sounds so weird when he shrunk. <laughs> Oh, I was not expecting the vehicle to move in that particular way. And we're still on lap one. Darn it! I didn't even get hit by the blue shell, but I still got hit by the blue shell. <laughs> ah, I hate the... You can't, you can't maneuver around those in the Phantom. 
Look at that. And the Phantom bounces like crazy. If you hit one of those, oh my gosh. I do not like that at all. Ninth place Bullet Bill seems a little... A little unwarranted, but alright. I'll take it. Oh, yeah, like, you hit the tiniest bit of that and you just rock it into the air. I peach. Ooh, thwomped. Oh, she tried to toss the banana on me. Ow. I like the overall shape of the road. I just hate the random patches of, oh, you're going to bounce if you hit this for absolutely no reason. Like, that one right there. If you just don't, like, just know it's there in advance, you're flying off a cliff. I don't like, I don't like tracks where there are unfair parts like that where you just have to, like, trial and error gameplay through it. So as much as I enjoy the dark color scheme for the theming of the level, it doesn't work well with uh, detailing contrast. I'm just not even gonna wheelie. No, I lied. I'm just gonna wheelie a little bit. Against all odds, I managed to win. Oh, DK and Waluigi did not have a good race there. Oh, DK's had a horrible circuit thus far. All right, 52 points. Darth Vader wins the Potaboo Cup. All right. I felt like three of those courses were pretty good. Lava Road was all right. Just clean up, like, remove the bouncy parts of that level, and I think, and maybe, like, <laughs> make it so it's easier to tell where the edges are, and I think you'd have a pretty solid level. That's just my opinion, though. Take it with a grain of salt. Four or five. All right, with the Potavu Cup down, let's play one other cup for today, and you know what? Let's use Luigi. I like Luigi, and we haven't used him in a hot minute, and Luigi, you're going to be in the standard cart M, because that's, that's the way Luigi do it, I guess. All right, so that was the Potaboo Cup. We're now on the Cheap Cheap Cup, where we've got Super Marine World, Jungle Jamble, Boshi Skate Park, and Flowery Greenhouse. Okay, I've definitely played Boshi Skate Park, which is, in my opinion, a very overrated course. But, you know, maybe I'll appreciate it more this time around. The other three are mysteries to me, so this, this should be interesting. Starting things off, we've got Super Marine World. Ooh, it's like an aquarium racetrack. That's really cool. Oh, we got the Penguin Exhibit. <laughs> All right. All right, oh, dude! Oh, this is such a cool theme, cool be theme track. I already like this. Oh, I'm pumped! This is gonna be so fun. Ouija time! <laughs> All right, so we don't have to worry about wheeling this time around. Oh, yeah, oh, this drifts way better than the Phantom. This feels so much better. This is why I started with the Phantom, because now only, we, we can only go up from here. Okay, I already love this track. It really feels like I'm dri I'm racing through an aquarium. Okay, so now we're going to the penguin exit. Oh, this is so awesome! <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, Peach. Okay. Oh no, Donkey Kong's on the Wario bike. Panels are so good in this game. All right, I already love this track. This is a fa this is a fantastic course. I hate green shells, man. I swear, when I throw them, they hit me more than they hit anybody else. This is why I throw my green shells backwards for the most part, or just use them as defense.
Oh, there's there's the DK sound effect that actually is Yoshi's sound effect. All right, Penguin exhibit again. Oh, there's a shortcut you can do. I'm guessing if you have a mushroom. Oh my gosh! Somebody just dropped a bomb. Bombing at the aquarium. That's not okay, buddy. Oh, triple mushrooms for the final lap. Yes, please. No! I was gonna save that for the shortcut. Okay, this is a really strong start to the circuit, though. I literally pulled out the red shell, but the game just said, no, I don't care. You got hit. All right, let's, let's take the left path this time. Oh, I didn't get the drift in time. Ow. Why am I getting stuck on the wall? No. No! Come on! I'm gonna get such a bad ranking for- Stupid penguin! Oh, I'm gonna get such a bad ranking for this course. Oh my gosh, that freaking green shell. Yikes, seven. That's so lame. That was such a good course. I got such a bad ranking just because I got bodied on the final lap. But that can happen in Mario Kart. Great. Well, Darth Vader Luigi has a, a lot of ground to make up now. All right. Well, I hope the other courses are just as good as that one. Because that was, that was fantastic. Jungle Jamble. This look... Wow. This is this is a monkey ball course. This So this, this is literally an homage to monkey ball. All right. I mean, I guess I can appreciate it, but uh, this looks really boring and basic. I like the grass texture, though. That's good. Yeah, and then I... The completely flat path with the... Yeah, this this doesn't do it for me, man. I, I expect a little bit more. Oh my gosh. Oh no, okay, that's King Boo in the honey coop, not the jet setter. Right, I'm gonna take the narrow path and see if that uh, does any... What?! I guess, it, I guess that ground was marked a different color, but I just thought... Oh my, that's so... Okay, that's really cool. That's really cool that they put you in the monkey ball if you fall off. That, all right, all right, one point in your favor, but I still think this course is on the boring side. Oh yes, and I got the blue shell too. Okay, let's go the lower path this time. Yeah, oh mushroom. Okay, the course is really basic. It is kind of fun to race through, though, so... I'll still give it an overall positive ranking. No, 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 no! I was thinking we had, didn't have a whole lot of blue shells up to this point, but then it's like, oh, yeah, you're right! Let's send all of the blue shells now. <gasps> oh, oh, yes, yes! Yes! Oh, that freaking green shell almost tried to wreck me at the end. I needed that. I really needed a first place win to move up the rankings. So now I'm in third overall. DK and Wario are my main competition. That course was fine. It was acceptable. It was kind of fun to race through. But again, just very, very simplistic in design. Boshi Skate Park. Here we go. This is apparently a fan favorite, at least among my sister and her fiancé. I mean, it's an interesting idea... I like the idea of a skate park being a course, but it's just, it's, it's one of those courses where you're just like, where do I go? It, it's not a very linear design. Just follow the mini-map, I guess. That is not, yeah. Oh my gosh! Like, look at it. Like, look at how many different ways to go there are. Alright, U-turn time. They have the signs up for that.
I like the I like the toads that are skating through the half pipe like that. That's that's a cool design. Lap two. Whoa. It looks like there's an alternate route on the map somewhere. Yeah, DK, Diddy Kong and King Boo are taking it. I wanna I wanna see that. Move it, move out of the way. <laughs> Cookie Monster's in his parked car, just like me, like Bochi Skate Park. <laughs> okay, so maybe you like. Ah, here you go. Something tells me this is gonna be a long. Oh, come on. Oh, there's boost panels back here. Maybe this won't be a long cut. Nope, that's definitely a long cut. Let's see if I can save my. It's, it's risky to save the mushroom. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. And freaking war! Oh my gosh, it's Wario and DK. No, no, I ain't, I ain't putting up with this nonsense. No, I gotta use. No, the pow came at the. That's like one of the only times the pow block has kind of ruined me. I was gonna take a shortcut at the end. Probably still wouldn't have beaten Wario though. Being forced onto the half pipe and hitting the wall is not doing me any favors. All right, well, I probably am not winning first in this circuit unless Wario has an accident of some kind. So I guess we'll just have to make sure Wario has an accident. That sounded darker than it did in my head. I apologize. Flowery Greenhouse, final course of the Cheap Cheap Cup. All right. Oh, oh, we're like shrunk. Oh, okay. I like this already. It's like it's like a Mario Party DS racetrack kind of course. It's like Wiggler's Garden. All right, all right. I can think. I'm getting down with this. Oh, I like the shape of this. This looks pretty awesome. All right. Are we going for like a watering can? Okay, that was trippy. I don't know why there are pokies. Oh, uh, I guess I guess cactuses. You can grow cactuses in a greenhouse. Okay. Um, okay, I don't like that turn at all. That seems like an extraordinarily unfair turn. Oh, yay! I forgot about you. Okay, Wario is a little bit behind. I like the Peach Gardens music that fits for the greenhouse. Whee! Oh my, no! Why are the half pipes even a thing? Why? Why are these a thing? They're awful! Who wants to go on the half pipes? They're so slow. And they, like, force you into them sometimes. Oh, dry Bowser, you what? Okay. You just gotta be very wary of the extraordinarily unfair turn up ahead. Oh, dunk on it. Wario's back in second place. Like, I'm gonna jump here. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Oh, oh my gosh, yeah. That's so much better. Oh, that's not better, though. Okay, really? Okay, Wario is in like 6th or 5th though. This is what we need. This is fine. I do not mind Toad and Peach getting a... Uh, okay, I hate how... The giant that jump was. I don't really like I don't really like this part of the course. How bouncy it is. Wario is gaining ground and I don't like it. King Boo, I welcome you into second place. Okay, I hate that turn. That turn is completely unfair. 
I'm gonna take the lower route this time. Seems a little safer, even if it's a bit slower. Oh my gosh, how did I get that break? Oh, that's be right. It's because of that unfair turn that I know how to do, but the CPUs can't do. That's why. Oh, DK and Wario are in second and third. I had to completely let go of the accelerator, lest it force me onto that dumb old half pipe. Come on, CPUs, you gotta beat them. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's a freeway tie for first place, which means I win because I won on the final course. That was so perfect. Oh, okay. No, that's epic. That's epic. All right. That course, I hate the unfair turn, and I don't like the ending part with all the bouncing and the half pipes. The rest of it was pretty cool, though. It's a cool idea. I think it just needs some work to become really, really great. Oh, dude, that was so hype. Three-way tie. Darth Vader, Donkey Kong, and Wario. 47 points. That was perfect because King Boo was in third when I finished. And when you finish in this game, it just basically takes whatever current places the CPUs are in and will award them points. Oh, yes! That was so clutch. Oh, man. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next time, we'll take on the next two cups, and we'll be using the final characters slash vehicles that we haven't used yet. And then I can use whatever I want because I've shown off everything else. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.